What's up guys? This is an Aries reading, um, business reading for September, first week of September 2019. Um, again, as I, as I explained in the Libra video, I'm doing these business readings because I have a business, Jim Body, Tam C. Doesn't look like uh, the cards were aligned or I shouldn't be successful in this business. But I did a reading on it and, and Spirit said that you will be successful in this business and it was all positive energy that came from the reading and it pushed me to do the business it pushed me towards creation and manifesting the business and since then things have aligned for me i've been aligned with people to help me along my way and i've been pushed to improve or you know increase the energy of my masculine energy to make this business a success hey since you're since i'm talking about it if you haven't ordered or pre-ordered a gym body sweater or t-shirt please click the link in my description and do so it would really mean a lot to me i'm trying to meet a goal um, to help me pay for start our startup costs and things like that anyway so i'm doing these readings because it helps people to know whether or not they should continue in business or just get them insight into their business situation and I am an entrepreneur and I like to en encourage entrepreneurship. So the overall energy of this reading we have yin yang and door to personal healing and happiness. This business is your key. This business is the key to personal healing, I guess in your finances and your career and your life. And it's also in happiness and fulfillment. When you're successful in a business, it brings you a level of satisfaction and fulfillment that nothing else can bring you as it pertains to your career. It's yours, you created it, it's your business. And then when you get to the point, to the next level where you are employing people and you're bringing fulfillment into their life and financial lives as well, that takes it to a whole nother level. So this business is taking you to that level. But you have to think, you have to push strategy to action. With the thinking woman right here, it's just clarifying for me that it requires, this business is gonna require not some mental um, energy. You're gonna have to put mental energy and thoughts into creating this business to make it a success. But don't overthink to the point where it's anxiety or impeding your abundance, impeding, impeding abundance from freely coming to you. Yeah, so it will lead you to a higher understanding of business. It's definitely going to lead you to a higher understanding of yourself. Yep. And help you find your true voice. I love the meaning of this card. All right, so we're just going to pull some cards to see what tarot we get for this Aries. My nose is shining. This Aries business reading. That was way too many cards. Sorry, I'm not taking all of them. Okay. Aries business reading. Aries business reading. We got King of Wands, which is more so Leo, but still um, fire sign energy. But the King of Wands is saying take the lead. So there is the okay. First two cards, yeah, the thinking woman and the king of wands. Both of these people or energies solve problems. Both of these energies take the lead. Both of these energies, again, resolve problems and, and they take charge. So spirit is telling you to take charge. Whatever it is in, in your business, maybe you have a partner or maybe it's yours, but you haven't been taking charge or you haven't been putting the energy, the mental and the physical energy to resolve the problems and take charge. But spirit is just telling you, um, resolve this issue. Put your head... Put your thinking cap on and solve this problem and take charge of the business. So we have yin yang and daughter personal energy, healing and happiness. So maybe the issue could be related to being some sort of imbalance. Maybe you're, you're not balancing it. Sometimes balance doesn't just mean masculine and feminine energy. Sometimes balance means enough emotion and passion in whatever you're doing, enough thought into what you're doing, and then pinnacle and earth sign energy which is doing the hard work and being dedicated and persistence and you know consistency and then um air sign energy putting the thoughts into it making sure you're you're thinking everything through and thinking the strategy putting your plans in order and putting your um strategy and formulating the strategy and things of that sort so balance as it pertains to a business is strategy air sign energy Thinking it through, planning, and executing the strategy. Passion, 
fire sign energy, putting your emotions into it, putting your energy into something that you're passionate and emotional about, but also fiery about and, and taking action on it. But too much fire sign energy would be over, overly passionate, overly doing it, over energetic to burn out quickly burn out. You don't want to quickly burn out. And also you don't want to overthink. So a balancing of what you're thinking and strategy, a balance in emotion and passion you're putting into it, um, a balance in, you know, practicality as it pertains to earth sign energy and putting all the, um, the emo, I'm sorry, consistency and persistence and hard work into your business and water sign energy, spirit, you know, Knowing that spirit is with you, also the enough emotion and intuitive, and following your intuition, and, and and praying about it, and having faith, and using the law of attraction in your favor. So we have several things that could be um, signifying an imbalance, but as it pertains to you, it just seems like you need to put more strategy and thought into your business to resolve resolve whatever issues that may be coming forth in your business. Okay. All right. You know, I don't resonate just me upside down. I resonate they want it upside down. Okay. We have the Knight of Wands in reverse, the lovers, and we have two sixes. Six both signify balance. Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. Maybe you're not putting enough Maybe the imbalance is implied with passion. Are you not passionate about this idea? Interesting. This Knight of Wands, usually the Knight of Wands is, you know, fiery, coming towards um, whatever it is that he or she wants. Not taking no for an answer. <laughs> Wanting towards it with passion. But for this Knight of Wands, in reverse... I don't know. I'm getting maybe you're not. Um, oh, okay. Okay. I get it. Okay. So you could be a little impulsive, but not thinking things through. Because you have a thinking woman, you have a king of wands, which both use their heads and are in, in resolve problems and take the lead. But maybe you're just acting impulsively without thinking things through. Girl, girl or boy, whatever you are. I resonate with that. I've done that before. But Spirit is saying, make sure that you're handling things in a more balanced way. And you, the fact that you have yin yang and you have six of cups here and the lovers, you could be in a partnership as well. This, this is it's real um, relationship type energy. So you could be in a partnership as well. Uh, maybe even with your soulmate. Maybe you're a business partnership with a soulmate. But remain balanced. Make sure that you're putting the correct energy into your business. Things may be moving slow, but it's it's going to a good place. It's going to the doors to personal healing and happiness. So I have confidence that this is a, going to be a success. This is going to be a successful business, and I can pull some more clarifying cards to see what comes up. Cause um, I don't know, just to make sure. I just want to see what they say about this. What is this lovers and six of cups spirit? What is Aries business reading? What is the lovers and the six of cups? Hmm. Change judgment. Whatever it is, it's good. Whatever this connection I'm feeling, I really do feel like soulmate connection kind of. I'm feeling a deep connection here with a partner but we have judgment in the tower hopefully that's good energy because it could be two different things this could be receiving on exponential levels um, in business you need to plan to I don't know you need a strategy but whatever it is you need a strategy at the end of the day for this business I would say you need a strategy. You need a strategy. But judgment could also be... I'm not getting negative energy, though. But if it was taken in a negative concept, context, 
The judgment in the tower could signify like court, being taken to court maybe. Um, a major change in your life with a partner, with a soulmate, being taken to the court, but this is a business reading. So it could be like something going wrong with me and taken to court with your partner. But I'm not getting negativity from this. I'm getting plan. Plan your entry, plan your exit, plan your strategy and execute. Don't be impulsive. Maybe this is what impulsiveness leads to. But anything else for this business spirit? Because man, this is this is a reading. This is a <laughs> Something else. Transformation, King of Pentacles, and a decision. Two of Pentacles. Balance. Balance leads to stability and transformation. Balance leads to abundance and transformation. And you have balance again on the bottom of the deck. All right, I'm done with this reading. I'm done with this business. Basically, you need that justice, you have strength. Um, you have transition and you have the five of swords. Five of swords keep coming out on people's readings. Libra energy, maybe during Libra season, something transitions. But it's just saying, um, whatever you're doing in your business, make sure it's in a balanced manner. Make sure it's something you're passionate about. You're putting enough energy into your passions. But as for you, I believe it's the thought. I think air sign. I think it's the air part of your business that you're missing out when you're not planning, strategizing, Putting your thinking cap on before you take an action. Spirit is saying put your thinking cap on and then take action. Um, that's that's going to be it for me in this reading. Thank you for watching. If you would like a comprehensive business reading, I offer that. The link will be in my description. It's $77 and I do an action plan. I pull lots of cards, get a comprehensive reading from Spirit, and then I, give a, I put a document together for an action plan. I can only offer that to a select few. So if you're interested, click the link in my description and order that. I wish you love. I wish you light. I pray over the success of your business. And I pray that you um, you receive the desires of your heart and that you get the clarity you need in this reading that you execute it. I wish you love, light, and more life. Peace. Oh, wrong computer.